Smoke. Oh, one of the. Is it Vern? It's yep. Vern. Vern. I have a problem with my dial. Oh, oh, he's in the wall. I was fucked. All my years in Formula One, I had to eat like this, sleep like that, do these many hours of sport every day, say that, don't say this, be like this, be like that, and uh, don't laugh or smile this time. You know, you're being like a robot, and when you go in the car, you don't, I mean, I wouldn't say you don't enjoy it anymore, but you're not really yourself. And at some point I said, you know, whatever. I want to have fun, I love what I do, so why should I behave um, differently if, if I don't feel like it? So yes, I need my fun. Outside, uh, outside the track, I have a lot of fun with, uh, with my friends. Uh, but when it comes to work, I think I'm probably even a lot more focused than, uh, than before. The Chilean capital of Santiago plays hosts to the third round of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship. I love the city. Um, I really like the country. I, I mean, in general, I, I always love the Latin American country. The sixth season of the All Electric Racing Series. When I was young, I was energetic. I was winning uh, a lot of races, championship. I ride them in uh, uh, in Red Bull, um, and the first year was very difficult. I think uh, I was my head was really big. I was, you know, I was thinking I was the king. I was, uh, you know, uh, gonna kill everyone and beat everyone. And uh, obviously, the first year uh, was really tough on me. People were seeing me as a negative person, never happy, which I was actually. Uh, and it took me too long to understand that uh, you should uh, be smiling. And I think for three years I was not smiling. And, uh, and then I got here this sticker of French guy uh, being moody, and, uh, which I was. So then when I received the call, uh, they told me goodbye. It was uh, yeah, very difficult. And uh, at that time, I remember it was in the summer and I was with my family. And it was like a bomb, you know, coming on me. All your dream going away. And we've got the first uh, 45 minutes of running coming up on this very interesting circuit. It's a slightly modified track from last year. When I left F1, I had no more cash, I had no more money. I, I was stupid with my money and uh, I spent it all and uh, I was not earning a lot of money either in Red Bull. People think you are a Formula 1 driver, it was, <laughs> it was not a lot, you know, it was not a lot. But yet, I felt like I was a millionaire and I spent it all. Uh, but I think it was a good time for me to reset everything in my life. It is Alexander Sims who leads the championship. So there is Jean-Eric Verne, the two times reigning champion. He, uh, it was an odd weekend for him in uh, area. I don't think we've really seen what, what to cheat to have yet. It took me at least two years to get back to normal, I mean, I wouldn't say normal life, but normal mentality. My first two years of Formula A, I was really in a negative mood and uh, I think I attracted a lot of bad things around. I think he was quite, sort of angry when he came to Formula E. And you could see it in, the, in, in some of the stuff he did. He was so angry for the first two seasons that he was here. He was just like con constantly furious. He was angry at himself. He was angry at being here. He was angry at not being in Formula One anymore. He went to, to Cheetah and I'm thinking, oh, new team, how's it gonna be? He completely, it was almost like he changed personality and he became such a complete driver. This, this is when everything started to be good uh, with me again. I, I lost all my confidence, but since no one really expected anything from me, I was able to work with the team very hard. I remember the first testing, uh, the engineers were, able, uh, were, were putting together the, the motor uh, in the bedrooms of the hotel because we didn't, have, we didn't pay enough uh, Formula E so we could have the garage in, uh, in Donington for the, for the summer testing. Get ready for this qualifying session and we will see who is going to be on pole position for the Santiago E Prix. Because of the way qualifying works, the championship protagonists always end up towards the back. I am fascinated to see the progress our double champion Jean-Eric Verne makes today in the DS to Cheetah. We've known each other for almost 10 years now. Throughout season three, that's where we really realized the potential 
of Jeff, you know, uh, having the ability to win races. Uh, I mean, he did his first podium in Buenos Aires, season three, um, and then uh, achieved more results uh, that way in Mexico, and um, up to his uh, his first win at the at the Monster Rally. We looked at each other and said, next year is going to be our year because uh, now we know we can win a race, then we can win a championship. There's a reason he's won the last two championships. Winning one championship, you could say, okay, you know, you can, but two back to back, he's done a great job. He's become a, a more complete driver. You can see it. When the car is a second place or third place car, he finishes third. He doesn't do the crazy stuff anymore. The Jev that, that won in season four and season five uh, was relentless and like probably working too hard, but, but nevertheless, like the focus had come back and he knew what he was concentrating on. Welcome to South America. For the third installment of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship. You can see the heat haze bubbling up off the tarmac. Green flag waved at the back. We're about to get going. Watch for those lights. All five lights are on. And we go green in Santiago. Attention all teams, attention all teams, this is race control. Full course yellow in five, four, three. John Eric Verne is hitting a Mercedes. So both the Esther Cheetahs there took it in sort of a formation flying kind of style because Mortara just activated attack mode and now he sends it up the inside of Massa. These two have not played uh, this clever at all. And it's Massa in the wall there. Yeah. He was certainly all over the place. He certainly had to slow down, Jack. He's gesticulating as they come up into the left-hander. De Costa now on Jean-Eric Verne coming up into turn nine and uh, not getting through this time around, even though um, De Costa's in attack mode and Vern is not, but now they are both out. Oh okay. man, it's done. It's, it's done. Okay. It's okay. Fit. And Vern is now in fourth ahead of Mortara. With the attack mode, the difference in straight line speed is incredible. Oh, and he's going up the inside here, Jean Eric Verne. Verne in third, Verline fourth. Verne's made up eight places. This is a great, great drive from the reigning champion. I have a problem with my tire. Smoke! Oh, one of the. Is it Verne? It's yeah. Verne! Verne. That front left bodywork that has been plaguing him all race after he picked up the damage earlier on. He might have to pit here. Jeff, you have to box. We we receive a warning, you have to box. Uh, except if you can remove uh, this part of bodywork. Oh, oh, he's in the wall. I think he tried to knock the front left off. That's why he drove into the wall. Is, he's just he's just hoping he can hold on to third until that falls off, isn't he? Oh. Yeah. Wow, look at that smoke. No. That's, eventually the tire's gonna give up. The tires are amazing, but is that tire flat? I'm trying I'm to get not, a few. Not, it's very difficult to see. I'm not 100 percent sure. Ah. And then it goes finally right in the middle of the track. Vern now has lost that piece of wing, so is he now fine? The tire, the tire, the tire looks low. The race direction wants you wants you to pit. The race direction wants you to pit. But it's off now. It's off. We receive an order. Uh, I know, but uh, it's what I receive in the RCNS. Jean-Eric Verne in sixth position then. The drivers like Verne hit the wall, but he has no penalty in the Riyadh. And now he goes away and uh, after the box. It makes no sense to continue, seriously. I is fucked. When you come racing, you, you come to, uh, to win, I mean, uh, as every other driver. 
Yeah, it was really frustrating because even though the qualifying was not where we want to be, I knew uh, we were going to be quick in, in the race. A wave to the crowd for jean eric Verne, the crowd giving him a big cheer. We uh, worked really hard for this run. Um, it was difficult because of the, the temperature, but I think we uh, got it quite uh, under control. And uh, yeah, we proved in the race that we were able to be really fast and come back. I was feeling very confident with, uh, with the car. Yeah, to have had this uh, issue in, in the end with the front wing is very uh, unfortunate, but you know, it's part of motorsport. You have days with day without. The philosophy I had in the race today, so you know, starting back, but uh, having a good car and full confidence and enjoying myself, you know, going through the field is the philosophy I'm going to have this season. I want to write history of my sport and uh, I feel like two titles is probably not enough. I mean, it's not where I want to, where I want to be, you know, I want to have more. So I'm still uh, very hungry, very motivated. I'm still young. I'm, I'm not even 30, so focus is still on driving in Formula A and trying to be uh, successful.